Hi guys, Siska here. I'm here to review three books. This is The Daughter of the Moons, Volume 2, books 4 through 6 in that um, long series. And it is about four friends, four mysterious powers, one ancient evil. So it says, they seem like ordinary girls living in Los Angeles. The truth is far from ordinary. Vanessa can become invisible. Caddy travels back in time. Serena reads minds. And Jemina has premonitions. What separates them from other bands, them together, has Daughters of the Moon. Really interesting. Each book is like something different. Um, so the first three were um, like about each of the girls. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I read them. So, um, it was about Vanessa, Serena, and Jemina, Jemima, Jemimina, Jemina, I feel like that's how you say it. Anyway, so the fourth one, the first book in this, is called The Secret Scroll, and it, um, deals with Caddy, and it brings her back to her past and understanding who she is and her role in this whole series. The next book, the second book in here, The Sacrifice, focuses on the other side, one of the evil ones. Um, the girls are considered on the good side, and then there's evil and people that are called followers. And um, in some of the elevated followers are called in the inner circle. Um, and then the last book was called The Lost One and talks about a girl that wakes up and doesn't remember her life. And she has a crazy secret and she's a, she's connected to the Daughters of the Moon in some way. And honestly, uh, this, this last book I read a little last night and it was interesting. I think because it was frustrating me because I feel like it was dragged out really long. I'm like, what the heck? How do you not remember anything? And it, I feel like it went on way too long. And I'm like, oh my god, this is getting so annoying. I almost stopped reading the book. And then all of a sudden it came to light. There's a lot of action in these books. There's very dark parts of these books. So if you're sensitive to darkness or don't like reading about evil or stuff, don't read these. But if you're into the mysterious powers, go to verse evil, you know, like invisibility premonitions, reading minds, all that stuff, which is really cool. Who doesn't like to read about that? I think most people do. So check these out. Um, there's one other bind up, so it's $9.99 for three books, but you can buy these on Half.com or Amazon for I think like four or five bucks for, for all three books. So for 10 bucks, you can read the first six uh, stories. Very big, but here's the secret. There's really not a lot on each page, as you can tell, and the font is really big. So honestly, usually I read a page and a half a minute-ish, depends on the book. I've timed myself. I could read three pages a minute in here. So I was reading nine new pages every half hour. So um, there's 818 pages in here. But like I said, like in a normal book, I feel like this would be like 600 something. So about 200 pages a book. So, um, you know, these, these are really great. So it probably took me, I don't know, eight hours, something like that. It was such a fun and journey. I feel like it took me less than eight hours. I can't really quite figure it out. I think each book took me... An hour and a half or two. So maybe like six hours total for this whole thing. Yeah. It reads fast, guys. There's a lot of action going on. The font's huge. Don't be discouraged because it's like massive. And now I want to read 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 onward. So um, that is my three book review. Quick, you know, to the point and let you know it's awesome and check it out. So I haven't seen too many reviews of these books on YouTube. Actually, I don't think I've seen one besides my other one. So... Hidden Jewel. So check them out. Isn't it pretty? All right. Happy ready. And I'll be back soon with a in my mailbox. I received some items, but I'm waiting for the rest. So I want to do it all together. So you guys will uh, have a book haul for me soon. All right. Bye, guys.